Say again. God is going to kill me because I'm, I'm me wearing pants. God, I don't want to serve the garbage. Why not? Because at the end of the day, if I'm doing the best, what does it matter? If I'm doing the best for everyone around me, what does it matter what I'm wearing while I do it? So who would teach you how to do what's best for those that are around you? Where do you get that understanding from? I mean, I get that understanding from the people around me because the people around the people know what they think is best for them. I will give you what you believe is best for yourself personally. So, if I'm a crackhead and I say, you know what? What's best for me is for a big old hit of crack. Or if I'm a heroin addict and I say, what's best for me is to get a fix. Or if I'm a whore, what's best for me is to go sleep with 10 men. Right up. You are killing them, sis. Right. You are now an accomplice for murder. Are you married or do you have a girlfriend? You have a girlfriend. Give me, give me Exodus 2216. Wait up! Because we just read that the heritage is something that Moses gave us that he got from the Most High God. So in that heritage it describes how we're supposed to walk, talk, think, listen, and act. Right. Each, everything, every aspect of life is covered by the Bible. Because the scriptures is a book of life. Read. Exodus chapter 22. Verse 16, right. and if a man entice a maid. So, let's put it in modern day terms. You're talking to a girl, right? Y'all kicking, you like, she's she, she straight. Y'all kicking in, and you spend game, hard. You know what I'm saying, you want it. You spend game, you on the phone with her, y'all having lunch, that's enticing. And then what happened? That is not the charge, mm -hmm. and lie with her. And what? And lie with her. So you spend game, y'all having lunch, y'all having dates. It's been like a week, you're like, hey man, you know, it's about that time. I done put in the work. I need to get a reward. And it said you lie to her, so you have sex with her. Read. He shall surely. No, he might. He shall surely uh -huh. endure her to be his wife. God says, if you lie down with a sister, you got to make her your wife. That's right. Have you ever heard that? Have you ever heard that, sis? So technically, whenever you lay down with a woman, you saying, I want you to be my wife. Right. right. Does that change the way you do sex? Because then, that's going to make you double think, like, hey, I might not need to lay down with her just because she got a big butt. Right. Or I might, not, I might not lay down with him because he got big feet. Right. Because along with their feet come that mind. And along with that butt comes that mouth. Right. So you got to, am I willing to deal with the way she talks and act? And I'm willing to deal with her attitude. And I'm willing to deal with him because he treats me abusive. Bring it out. I know that sex is good, but he talks to me like I'm worthless. Bring it out. Bring it out. Is that worth it? I know she got a big butt, but every time I say something to her, she always snapping back at me. Bring it out. This is our community. Right. This is hip hop lives. Bring it out. They just sit around the table and talk crap about their brothers, about their men. Right. We got men that just dog our women out and treat them like garbage. Right up. Because a man oppressed our heritage. And our heritage said, if y'all have sex, y'all have to get married. Right. That's right. So what does that do if we do that? That eliminates STDs from the black society. Right up. There's no more AIDS, there's no more syphilis, there's no more gonorrhea. Because sexually transmitted diseases come from promiscuity. So if everybody's not laying, it, laying down with everybody else, we're clean. We're safe. Right. There's safety in the laws of God. That's right. But if we not, why has is, why is the college never told us y'all need to get married and stop being whores? Is that not education? The mission statement of the college was to promote education and emancipation of Amer African Americans. Right. If you're not telling me how I should live my life, how am I being educated? Does it help you to know that in 1870, somebody walked and created uh, peanuts? Does it help you to know that a black man invented the red light? Right up! It doesn't. But it does help you know, hey, if I lay down with a sister, I need to marry her. That's right! Because That's if right. I don't marry that sister, I just made her a whore. Right! Deuteronomy 23 and 17. Right up! A princess cannot be a whore. A king cannot be a whoremonger. That's right! These are laws that we fell away from. So our women are losing their minds. Our men, you ever wonder like, why the hell they got crimes of passion? She come home and then she just kill her husband. Why? Because she got spirits on her. Every time you lay down with somebody, you become one with them. Every time you give yourself to somebody, you become one with him. You adopt his spirit. Right. So you taking on his characteristics. You know you be with somebody so long, you start acting like them. 
Sex is spiritual. Right. It's not just some physical act that the, the, the white man put out there for us to do. It is a it's a union. You invest in yourself and you invest in yourself. Right. Once you invest yourself or get invested in, you adopt that spirit. Right. So if you invest in with ten people, you got ten spirits on you. You yeah. crazy as hell. You don't know what you like. Right. I thought I like light skin. I, I think I like I, I, I don't know. I just want everything. Because now you didn't got turned into a horror monkey. Give me some rock 23 and 7. Bring it up! Or 17, you know what I want? All bread and sweet. Because now you messed up. You like a dog chasing his tail. I just need something. It's a hunger. Because you got the spirit of lust on you. Because you feed in that spirit. So now you put that spirit on your sister. Bring it up! So rock chapter 23, verse 17. Bring it up! All bread is sweet. So that's this is that five years ago was just toe up. But you just been on the spree. You knocking them down. You went after another bang, bang, bang. And you gotta have your fix. So now that bread that was still up, that thing that became sweet to you. Right. You like, man, nah, she ain't too bad. Or oh, let me have a couple of drinks, she ain't too bad. Hey bro, let me holler at you for a second, man. Give me five minutes, man. Come on, old school. See what I mean? Our people don't care. We lay down, we, we defeated, right. lost. Our old men are supposed to teach us how to be young, how to be men of the Lord. Right. That's, right. That's not happening to us. The Lord took their understanding because they don't want to fight no more. So if the old men don't want to fight, who are we supposed to look up to? Bring it out. Nobody. My dad didn't tell me I shouldn't lay down with a woman unless I want to marry her. Bring it out. My dad bought me a box of condoms. That's crazy as hell. Right. That's a destroyed mentality. Hey son, I know you want to have sex, so here, let me help you. How do you raise a nation like that? Right. You can't raise a nation like that. So what do we gotta do? We gotta renew. Give me Ephesians uh, 4:26. Right up. 28. I wanna uh, renew the mind. We messed up out here, y'all. But what happened is we back. The promise of God have come back to the earth to teach repentance and understanding what real baptism is. That's right. Y'all been water baptized before? What about you, sis? You been water baptized before? Did it, did it change the way you felt? It did? So did you stop sinning? What about you? You went down, a whore mother or a whore, and you came up the same way. Now you just got a little water on it. Right. It didn't change your mind. Right. If it don't change your mind, I might as well go home and take a bath. You know what I'm saying? What's the point? Well, I guess you're going to read that. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 23. Bring it out. What does that mean? We gotta change our mind. We gotta stop thinking I'm Tyrone Coon Jenkins and I'm a prince of God. That's right! We gotta stop thinking I'm just shouting from around the way and I'm a princess of God. Because with identity comes a responsibility. Right! If you know you're a princess, you're not gonna behave like a servant. If you know you're a king, you're not gonna behave like a nigga. Because what we, what we aspire to be now is real niggas. Yo, that's what everybody, everybody wants to be. I'm a real nigga. He a real nigga. I hang with a bunch of real niggas. That don't make sense. Right. Real niggas can't take over the world. Right. Real right. niggas are fodder in the streets by the white men. That's right. And each other. Because we killing each other. Why are real niggas killing real niggas? If everybody real, somebody lying. Yo. You know, somebody lying. Somebody ain't telling the truth. Because if we all real, we all supposed to be looking out for each other. That's right. right. But we're not doing that because we got that hatred bred into us and we're not being renewed in the spirit of our minds. I'm going to give you a law, sis. I gave you one about marriage. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Right up! Because our heritage is the laws of God. That's right. That's what your heritage is. Your heritage is not the David H. Swinton campus city. Right. Because David H. Swinton never taught you how to be a woman of God. That's right. right. He never taught you how to be a man of God. Right. They just put you through the, through the system. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Uh, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. What's a woman's garment? Give me some more. Huh? What's a woman's garment? Like a what? A dress. Why you didn't say that first? I don't know, I was just thinking about undergarments. Oh, uh, he ain't say undergarments, sis. You playing games. That thing said garments. Read, how does the Lord feel about it? For all that do so are above a nation unto the Lord thy God. So in a 
abomination is something that God hates. Right. It's something that he protects like it's disgusting him. Read it again from the top. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So it says a woman shouldn't wear that which pertains to a man. And y'all told me a woman's garment is a dress, right? So what is a man's garment? What? The brother, you agree with him? It's pants. Because if we are here with Bibles wearing dresses, are y'all going to take it seriously? Because that's a woman garment, right? Right. No. So why do we why do we allow women to wear pants? You know. Because a man oppresses house and his heritage. Right. That oppression came with understanding we don't have to keep the laws of God no more. That's what they made us think. Right. That's what the Christian pastors teach. Right. The laws are done away with. All we got to do is believe, confess, and the Lord will save us. But they never say what it means to believe in the Lord. It's not just saying, oh, Father, I believe in you. I, I'm sorry for sinning. Amen. That's not how it works. We got to take heed and we got to live according to the commandments. Right. So, sis, that scripture says you can't wear pants. Right. I didn't say that. The Lord said that. Right. It ain't my word, sis. I'm sure he did. I'm sure you're like, why the hell does it matter if I wear pants? Read. Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 8. Right. And it shall come to pass. Shall. So that means something in the future. Read. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice, that I will punish the princes and the king's children. So it says the Lord will punish the princes and the king's children. Read. And all such as are clothed with strange apparel. It said what? And all such as are clothed. As are what? As are clothed uh -huh. with strange apparel. It says clothed. It says the Lord is going to kill people for what they are wearing. That's right. Isaiah 36? Or 30 and 6. 30 and 6. Say again. God is going to kill me because of me wearing pants. God, I don't want to serve the God. Why not? Because at the end of the day, if I'm doing the best, what does it matter? If I'm doing the best for everyone around me, what does it matter what I'm wearing while I do it? So who would teach you how to do what's best for those that are around you? Where do you get that understanding from? I mean, I get that understanding from the people around me because the people around the people know what they think is best for them. I will give you what you believe is best for yourself personally. So, if I'm a crackhead and I say, you know what? What's best for me is for a big old hit of crack. Or if I'm a heroin addict and I say, what's best for me is to get a fix. Or if I'm a whore, what's best for me is to go sleep with 10 men. Right up. You are killing them, sis. Right. You are now an accomplice for murder. Right. So your worldly understanding is not going to hold up against God's laws. That's because right. God's laws purify us. Yeah. That's what changes our minds. How can you fix somebody if you broke it? You know, you can't help nobody unless yourself is helped first. Right. If I got the mind of a slave, I'm gonna tell you, hey, bro, you're a king. If I'm, if you gonna tell me a king, why the hell you acting like a king? Right. You know, right. We sick. We got broken in slavery, sis. But we came back with the medicine. Read what you got. Isaiah 30 and 6. Is that what you want? 30 and 10. 30 and 10. Read. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 10. We say to the seers, see not. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. What? Prophesy not unto us right things. Is, our people don't want to hear what's right. Right. They don't want to hear right things. The yeah. Lord is telling you, his daughter, sis, I want you to be holy. I want you to dress like a princess. I want you to think like a princess. And you kicking against that, sis. Right. right. He's giving you rulership. Right. right. Every single religion believes they try to tell somebody what's right. Right. At the end of the day, you gonna believe what you believe. So, does every religion have the fact that we went into slavery and all slave ships in their book? Right out. Does every religion chronicle the history of our people since time began? No. Because every other religion is started by men with no understanding of God. Right, right. The Quran does not say that the children of Israel will go into slavery. You know what the Quran says? The children of Israel are chosen of God. Right. And that the Bible is a source of light and instruction. Alright, hey, sis. So you said every religion tells people what to do, but make that statement again you just said. Yeah, I mean every religion believes they tell telling people what's right, how to live. At the end of the day, everyone's going to believe what they want to believe. But it's about how you treat people. But how you treat people? It's really about how you treat people, you know what I'm saying? As long as you got love in your heart, who cares if you believe that, like, like you, you can't come out here and tell me I shouldn't be wearing pants. Why not? You just cannot do that. Because if I have to do that to, to serve this God, 
But it doesn't matter. If it doesn't matter, that I'm out here treating people with the best, with the most love in my heart that I can. But God tells me, oh, well, you're wearing pants. You're not playing a woman's role. Man, I ain't coming uh, to that. 3, you're fine. Because at the end of the day, shouldn't every God be saying just spread love? Isn't that the end message anyway? See, the thing is, is this. The mind that you use to think of those things is your own mind. This is what happens, sis. If, the, if our own mind was leading us the right way, would we be still killing each other in the streets? Bring it up. Would we still, hey, this brother shook his head. He was like, no. Hey, the thing is, is this, is that we live by our own minds every day. And where has it got us? No damn where. Well. Christianity, hey, it's, it's, a, it's a church of Christianity on every block in the hood. In the white neighborhoods, it ain't there. So the thing is, is this. You know what? I want to give them this indoctrination of this so-called white man to do as thou wilt. You know where that comes from? Alexander Paul. You know where that comes from? The satanic Bible. So, so listen, you understand what you're talking about is devil worship right now. You following the guidelines of the so-called white man. Do as thou wilt. Hey, whatever's good to you, hey, you should, hey, what your standard is of living is totally different from what God's is. Read it. Proverbs chapter 3. With all your mind. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Alright? Read. And lean not unto thy own understanding. Lean not to your own understanding. So what you think is right ain't always right. You right. understand? Alright? Read on. In all thy ways, acknowledge him. Acknowledge him by doing his word. By following his Bible. You understand? Because, hey, let me ask you this, sis. You grew up in a Baptist church? You did? Say again. First Calvary Baptist Church right around the corner. First Calvary Baptist Church right around the corner, right? Okay, what about you, brother? The Baptist Church, right? All right. No, let me ask you this. People that was in that Baptist Church, and even sometimes the pastor, wasn't they found out in adultery? Wasn't they found out in fornication? Wasn't they found out they was uh, doing all manner of wickedness, even if they looked at themselves by the Bible? Right? But you know what they were doing? Going to court to their own guidelines. Right. I can sin as much as I want, but at the end of the day, Lord Jesus, forgive me. Hey, and now all my sins is washed, washed away. But the thing is, is that there's no practice of God's laws and commandments. Right. You understand? Continue reading. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord. Verse 6. And all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. So you acknowledge the most high in all that you do, he will direct your path. That's but you right. know what happens is this? Hey, a lot of times we go on in our path, we hear the most high say through his word, sisters, put on pants. I mean, put on a dress. Brothers, wear pants instead of a dress. You understand? Right. Now we got hip hop artists, we got different people wearing uh, dresses, right. we are wearing skirts. Brothers walking around with kilts on St. Patrick's Day. Right. No. And St. Patrick's Day ain't got a damn thing to do with the black man. That's right. right. You understand? But what it does have something to do with people in Christianity converting or die. Right. You convert to Christianity or you die. So you know what? In our neighborhoods, it's the same mentality. If you live and think according to this Bible, I don't want you around. You're a threat. But you do, do as thou wilt, follow the guidelines of the, of the damn devil, Hey, you're acceptable with me. We're right. good. We're cool. We're brothers. You understand that? That's what happens. Bring it up. And that's the mind that you got is the mindset of the devil. Hey, bro, right. yeah, you yeah, understand yeah, that? Yeah, Read that again. Verse 6. Not as fact, go to Mark 7 and, and 21. Bring it up. So when we was talking about your heart. I got the heart. Go ahead. Mark chapter 7, verse 21. Bring it up. Mark from the out of the heart of men. Out of the heart of men. We're going to find out what his heart is. Go ahead. Proceed evil thoughts. Proceed evil thoughts. Do as thou wilt. According to the doctrine of the so-called white man. Whatever the hell you want to do. You can, you can rape your sister. Or you can go ahead and make your sister every kind of thought. Right. But you know what? When it's your mama, it's a problem. Bring it up. When it's Bring your it up. sister, it's a problem. When it's your grandmama, it's a problem. And you know what? You ready to kill your brother for your mama, your grandmama, your sister, or whatever. You ready to kill your brother for it. But you know what? When it comes down to you, it's cool. Right. You understand? If somebody is like, they horn you out, sis, wouldn't you think you would be at a point to be like, hey, man, you need to take me as your wife? Bring it out. You understand? They do all manner of, of, of sex 
Y'all, uh, y'all, hey, don't act like, hey, this is a college campus and don't go on. You're licking, you're sucking, you're touching, you're doing every damn thing, but that can't be your wife. You got the damn devil on you. Yeah, and you understand that at that point in time, you were worthy of death. Hey, if you was my daughter and somebody did that to you, I would want them to marry you, you understand? Because I don't want you to walk around defiled. But the problem is, is this, sis. You don't even have enough love for your damn self to know the difference. To know the difference between love and... Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.